Hello everyone, welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are doing a mystery reading. So I did film the card selection process. If you like to watch that, uh, that will be playing next or else you can skip ahead right to your reading. So we're gonna let Spirit run the show. We're gonna see what comes through for you today. It is a mystery. Three groups today. So this will be group number one, group number two, and group number three. So use your intuition. Again, if it helps you, you can watch me draw the cards. Maybe you'll feel really pulled to one group. You can also take a look at the timestamps below. So use your intuition and see which is calling to you most. And just so you guys know, I am available for private readings and I do have a new offering, um, a few new offerings actually. So I will link that down below if you want to check it out. Thank you all so much for being here. Pause the video if you need more time to select your group, and I will see you in your reading. Welcome everyone to the card selection portion of your Monday mystery reading. I am surrounded by decks right now. Like there's some we haven't used in a while, so I felt called to pull them out. What messages do you have for the collective? Oh. Emmy's rubbing against the light. Be careful, boo, it might fall on you. Cutie pie. Love you. Two. Let me pray that this is two, two, two also. No. <laughs> oh, Emmy, what's wrong?
one more of this one too. Do you get one extra hour? It's going to go with that. Is that everything? Those are our piles. I'm going to put the tea leaves on the bottom. And we'll start with a different card probably for each group. We'll see. Let's go with the flow. Let's spirit send this one. Okay. Okay, perfectly imperfect. Group number one, group number two, group number three. <laughs> Welcome group number one to your mystery reading. You chose this pile of cards here. Ooh, this one I think might want to come out first. <laughs> so thank you again so much for being here. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with today's reading. And thank you Spirit for your clear and accurate messages. What messages do you have? What does group number one need to hear at this time? Let's get started. Wow, oh, this, you saw this slip out, right? First card out, we have Lion, time to act. If you're watching this in real time, um, like the time around the time I'm posting this, we are in Leo season. So I feel like this is even more confirmation. The time to act is now. This is definitely a focal point of your reading here. We'll see what this is about. Maybe instantly you already know what this is about, but Spirit is wanting you to take action. I feel like that message has been coming up in readings lately. Uh, at least, I don't know, I do so many. <laughs> um, this week, and it doesn't matter, even if you didn't catch those, but I feel like we're in a season where Spirit's wanting us like to act on our ideas, to act on our ambitions and our dreams instead of wasting time. I shouldn't say wasting time, but instead of spending time just thinking about it, it's... We're being called to step into a season of acting on it. Um, but let's see what else comes through for you. Oh my gosh. Another lion. Lion's mane. That's the synchronicity there. Your spirit animal right now really could be a lion or you're being called to work with that lion energy. The season, the Leo season, Leo energy here. Maybe some of you guys are Leos, but you don't have to be. You're being called to embrace that energy leadership. You're being called to step into a leadership role here. Number 18, this could be relevant here. We have Mercury and Uranus here. I feel like Mercury, this is like your ideas, your like what you've been thinking about doing. You know, you have all this intellectual stuff going on. Now it's time to take action on what that is. It looks like we even have some labor energy coming through here, of course, Leo energy. But Uranus, time to make drastic changes in your life with this Uranus energy. It's time to take action and, and step up and create the change you want to see in your life. Wow, synchronicities. I love it. Okay. 
And then my little fierce cat's down here meowing. Let me give her a little pet. Hey, Emmy. You think you're fierce like a lion? You are. Okay. Um, let's keep going. 21, the economy. Trust your needs will be met. Okay, some of you guys may be having money worries um, lately, and Spirit wants you to know, trust that your needs will be met. And maybe you're being called to step up and act on a business idea, act on some sort of, uh, or just take action with your, like, you know, maybe the scales here too. This could be like with finances here. So maybe you're being called to seek a financial advisor or act on your finances and get stuff together with that or act on a business idea. We're going to keep seeing what comes out here and piece this all together as we go. Wow. Thoth, divine masculine. Masculine is action. That is what this reading is about, is about you stepping into your masculine, no matter what you identify as. You know, we both have both feminine and masculine energies, and masculine energy is the action, the leadership energy. You're really being called to step into your masculine, to make plans, to take action, to stay disciplined with your goals, with your dreams here. Oh my gosh. We have leadership coming up again. Cardinal 36, Father of Airs. This is like the King of Swords. Leadership. Leadership. Masculine. Action. It's time to take action, to step up, to make moves. You are being called to step into a leadership position, but also just becoming the leader of your own life here. I'm going to take a sip of tea. This is very synchronistic, group number one. I love this. <laughs> We still have a lot of cards to go. Let's let's see. But with the king of air here, the father of air, this is also taking action, making decisions. Take care. Enemies are working against you. It's so interesting. When I turned this over, I was just thinking something. Make decisions that are right for you. You don't need to seek outside validation because not everyone will have your best interest at heart. It doesn't mean they're completely against you so, like consciously. It's just some people might not want to see you succeed, and you might be going to them for advice or telling them what you're doing. I feel like you're just being called to take action, to make decisions, and not seek outside validation, and to really go with what you feel is best for yourself. And you don't need to tell people what you're doing here. We're going to need more room probably for all these cards. Let's do one more. Okay. Valley. Deep personal strength and peace that assures success. Yeah, you will be successful here. A goal oriented person. This is that king of air, father of air energy here. And what you're being called to act on. Focus on your goals. Take action on your goals. Get clear on your goals. Make a plan and t stay disciplined. Take action on that. And then we have heart, love, deep affection, and caring. Like, no matter what your goal is, maybe some of you guys, your goal is to find a committed partner. Or it could be about your finances or your job. This could be anything or multiple areas of your life. Um, even if it's love, it's like come up with a plan. Um, join the dating sites. Put yourself out there. Work on yourself. You know, it's... It's taking action, coming up with a plan. Or well, first of all, okay, spirit like getting clear on what you want. That's the first step. Spirit wants you to get very clear on what you want, then come up with a plan, take action, and stay disciplined, and make this be a realistic plan again. And also, you don't need to tell everyone um, what you're doing or ask for help, like or ask for outside validation or opinions. You, you have all the answers within you. You go within you to know what you want. You don't, you don't need to ask other people what it is you want or what you should do. That's uh, definitely a message coming through from Spirit for you guys. Yes. Wow. This is, in this oracle, there's only one card that's like a straight up yes. You will reach your goals. Spirit is saying yes. The time is now. The time to act. You will manifest whatever it is you're wanting. I feel like a lot of you guys have gotten very clear on what you want. You know what you want, but now it's time to take that action and that you will manifest it. Spirit saying yes. Yes. Let's 
Six of Swords in reverse here. This is the card of stagnation, staying in a situation even though you're not happy with it. This is what Spirit's calling you to get out of, to act. If you're not happy in some area of your life, it's time to act. It's time. It's time to make some moves. Come up with a plan. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yes, there really could be something here with, you know, not feel, like wanting love, feeling lonely, feeling depressed in some sort of way. If you're feeling low, you're feeling low energy, you're feeling unhappy, you're feeling depressed, you're feeling just, uh, just not happy, that's a sign that change is needed and it's time to act. You don't want to settle in this energy here. You don't want to stay stuck in a situation you're not happy with. You don't want to stay stuck in a, a negative emotional state. You deserve love. You deserve happiness. And you can have it. You just have, have to choose. You have to choose to have it. You have to choose to get through this. And you will. You have the strength within you. You are a natural leader. You just It just takes action. And trust that your needs will be met. But, you know, it's a combination of belief and action here. Four of Cups in reverse. Yes. If you, This is also Spirit calling you to come out of your shell. Some of you guys might be like in hermit mode. Come out of your shell. Be open to new opportunities and new possibilities. And I see that you will be. And then we have the Magician in reverse here. All these reversals here. Um, you do have all the tools within you. You haven't, Spirit wants you to know, you haven't been, li like, you know, living up to your full potential. Not calling out in a bad way or anything. It's just saying you are, are, you are so powerful. You have so much strength within you. So much good within you. So many good ideas. So much to offer the world. And it's time to share your gifts, to share your skills, to share yourself with the world, and to step up and use all the tools within you to use that leadership ability within you, to tap into that masculine energy, to set targets to go after your goals because it's the time is now the time is now to improve your life and to get things moving family room yeah i feel like a lot of you guys have been keep playing small and keeping to yourself staying home staying in which isn't always bad but now is the season of action and doing Wow, you guys, <laughs> take inspired action. How clear is spirit today with you guys? Take inspired action, full moon in Virgo. Wow. So there's this message too coming through, like take inspired action, taking action now whenever you're watching this. You're going to start taking action, start planning, start going after your goals. And I feel like by the full moon in Virgo, which is in Pisces season, you're really going to manifest whatever it is you're working on. And I know a lot of us just want instant results, instant whatever, but it takes time. And now is the time to set the plans in motion, to take the action. So in a few months, you will have whatever it is you are wanting here. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty, compassion. It is a confirmation that your assumption and beliefs are correct, but it's also an encouragement to use your talents and gifts because they will benefit the world and your pockets. Be of service to others. Your potential is enormous. Spirit, that's what we're, I was saying before. It's like you haven't lived up to your full potential yet and you have so much to give the world, to give others. And this is Spirit confirming what I was saying. You do. This is a confirmation. Maybe some of you guys have been feeling in a total funk since 2020 and you're not alone. That could be a, for some of you. But you don't need to stay in this funk. You don't need to stay stuck. You are limitless. You have so much potential. All it takes is saying yes. Yes to yourself. Yes to your dreams. Yes to life. Yes to truly living. And then going from there. Take inspired action. 
So really, what is it you truly want? Again, we already kind of said this, but we'll wrap up your reading with what's coming through from spirit. What is it you truly want? Get your journal out. What do you want? And don't play small. Don't think about what other people want for you. What do you want for you? And then take an honest look at where you are at now without judgment. And think about what it is you can let go of and what it is you need to do. And from there, set an action plan. And start implementing new habits, new routines, and take inspired action on your ideas. Getting started is the hardest part. And once you go from there, things will just keep moving. Mm -hmm. You are such a powerful co-creator of your, your universe, your world. And Spirit wants you to know that. And it's just all over this, you guys. Action, 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 action. You know, leadership, like goals. You got this. And... Yeah, I believe in you. Spirit believes in you. It's just starting to believe in yourself and realizing you have all that potential within you. You are powerful and trusting that you'll get there. You know, powerful combination. You will. You will. Like we have here renewal, potential, recovery, adaptability, service. How can you give to others? That Maybe that could help drive you to action if you feel like it's selfish and for whatever reason to focus on yourself. How can you serve others? How can you give to others? How can you step up and be a leader? Because you are a natural born leader, group number one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, that concludes your reading. I really hope this resonated and you got the guidance, the messages you needed most at this time. If you did get value from this reading, which I truly hope you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video. Leave a comment if you wish. And if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. I'll leave that down below. I'm truly so grateful you're here. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number one. Welcome, group number two, to your mystery reading. We're going to see what spirit thinks is most important for you to hear today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much to your spirit guides, to my spirit guides for assisting with the reading today. Thank you, spirit, for your clear and accurate messages. What does group number two need to hear most at this time? <laughs> New moon in Aries. Go for it. Go for it. You have some dream. You have some idea, something you want. And you're being called to take action, to go for it. Wow. I mean, starting off, this is a very similar message to group number one. If you felt called to that, maybe watch that next, but we'll see. <laughs> but still, no matter what, you guys are being called to go for it, to take action. What is it you truly want? New moons are great for setting intentions. So what do you want? It's time to go after the life you truly want. Card number 41, Poppy, dream. What are your dreams, group number two? Let's create them. in re yeah, Let's draw our dreams into reality. I feel like there's something you've been really dreaming about, really wanting. For some of you, it doesn't have to be this, but I always, when I see number 41, well, first of all, I think of a Dave Matthews song, but also <laughs> it is associated with um, the Ace of Cups. So... Some of you guys could really be wanting love or just a renewal or just being happier. It could be anything, a, a new beginning, especially with new moon energy and ace energy coming through here, a new beginning of some sort, whatever it may be, whatever your dreams are, it's time to take action and go for it. If you want something, if you have a desire, you have that for a reason. And I love this combination up here, Neptune and Saturn. Neptune is our dreams, our visions, and Saturn is... The discipline, the action, going after it. 
And these are dreams that take time, delayed gratification, things that take time or with Saturn. The best things take time, honestly. So maybe something that's been stopping you from going after a specific dream is the time, is the energy that goes into it. But Spirit's saying now's the time. I feel like there's special energy. Maybe the stars are aligned in a specific way for you right now. No matter what, now is the time to go for your dreams. It is. Let's put this here. Beautiful cards. Animals. Honor the animal kingdom. So you guys definitely have some animal spirit guides right now. Maybe some of you guys even have a dream that has to do with animals. Maybe some of you guys want to adopt or work with animals. Uh, that's okay if you don't, but that's confirmation for some people here that it's time to go after that dream or to adopt that pet. Or, but no matter what, I feel like a lot of you are being called to spend more time in nature. Maybe some of you guys are like, I don't really know what I want. And sometimes Neptune can kind of cause a haze. Um, and Poppy too. Maybe you just feel kind of confused right now. Some of you guys might feel confused about what it is you truly want. So you're like, how do I even know what to do? What action to take? Um, something that would really help you is to get some fresh air, to spend time in nature, to spend time with animals. We have this angel here. I feel like you guys might really get some angel messages, um, some downloads when you're outside. Mm -hmm. The number 25 could be important for some of you. Okay, we'll see how this all fits. Mother Mary, emotional healing. Yeah, I feel like there is definitely a message here, something about um, ant being with animals and being in nature will be very healing for you. And I also feel like some of you guys have already been in this, doing this healing work. You've been doing the healing work, you've been working on yourself, spent a lot of time with yourself doing all of that, maybe spending a lot of your time with just your pets and stuff like that. Like I can really, <laughs> but now it's the time to incorporate what you've learned. You've healed and now it's time to take action on what you've learned and incorporate that into your day to day. Like you're ready for the next step. Yes. Wow, 28, root of water, highly sensitive. Wow, emotional healing, highly sensitive. A lot of you guys are very sensitive, very intuitive. You guys very likely might be healers, and maybe some of you guys even like could be animal healers or work with animals. I feel like you're very, you animals might be really drawn to you. I feel like you just have a really amazing energy. You're very empathic, very intuitive here, yes. And maybe that is why you've been keeping to yourself or not getting out in the world um, because you, you're so sensitive, maybe the energies to other people, um, emotionally you've been hurt. But I feel like, again, you've done this healing work and now I think you have the knowledge to protect yourself, to get out there in the world and to, to do more, to help others, to help animals, help people. I feel like you are meant to be healers in some way. And you're being called to act on that. And even if it's not healing specifically in the ways you would think of, like just whatever it is you're doing in the world, whatever you're being called to do is really um, beneficial to others, of service to others, I can see. Hmm. Okay, let's see what else comes through here. Your purse, pay attention to your finances. vacation. Maybe some of you guys are being called to take a vacation. Maybe you've been overly working and that's something you've been dreaming of doing. This is confirmation for some of you. Wow, muddled, unclear thinking. That was what we were talking about with that Neptune, that hazy energy. It's time to, I think you really could use a step away, whether it's a staycation, a vacation, or just spending more time outside to clear your mind. An energetic cleanse could be really helpful for this group too, especially if you feel you pick up on other energies. Oh, look at this. Great good fortune. Mm -hmm. News is on the way. There's news on the way of something great here, a new opportunity. And spirit wants you to go for it. For love you. This could have to do something with money or maybe like a trip. 
And maybe you're one to like be like, oh, I just need to stay home or stay with my pet or something. But like, I feel like there's some opportunity that's coming your way that spirit wants you to be prepared for and know that this is really good for you. This is aligned with your dreams here. Reconsider. There's something here with reconsidering the way you're currently doing things, the way you're currently thinking of things. Let's see how that comes through, but I feel like it has to do with this unclear thinking or this, this lack of action. I feel like there might be something on your mind. You're like, oh, but I shouldn't do that because the kids or because the animal or whatever it is in your life. And I feel like Spirit's calling you to put yourself first right now, your needs first, your dreams The Knight of Cups in reverse. This can be an energy of someone, sometimes a man doesn't have to be, but someone very overly emotional, jealous, controlling, um, a lot of hot and cold, up and down energy. You might be being called to reconsider this relationship. Let's see. The High Priestess. Yeah, you guys really are super intuitive and sensitive to energies. More than you may even realize. This could even be you. Maybe you feel like your energy's up and down a lot. And so it, I think you're being called to like think about that, if that's true, in ways you can heal and protect yourself. Spending more time with animals, more time in nature, um, doing cleanses, um, doing that protective like white bubble or... Um, meditation before you go out or do any work with other people there's so many different ways to protect your energy to cleanse your energy and that's definitely something for some of you in this group that spirit wants you to think about eight of cups you're being called to to take action to seek more emotional fulfillment here the eight of cups is you're going after, oh, look, and there's a key in this one. Keys are like new opportunities, new doorways opening up. There's a new opportunity coming into your life that will be fulfilling. Something has been you feel like has been missing in your life. Maybe it's love. Maybe it's finances. Maybe it's just feeling, you're not even sure. It's like something's missing here. It's time to go for it and seek new opportunities so you can find that emotional fulfillment. So you can find that nine of cups. Um, I really do feel like Spirit is letting you know that there is some new opportunity headed your way. And it's, it seems like it's going to be really good for you. There's a lot of good fortune, a lot of opportunities here. And then Eight of Pentacles in reverse, two eights here. Some of you guys may have a new opportunity for work, for finances. Mm-hmm. Yes, and I feel like some of you guys, maybe something happened where you lost your job or you're not happy with your job, and maybe you're really resonating with wanting to be a healer or wanting to serve others in some way or you do something creative here or share your wisdom in some sort of way, and this is the confirmation from spirit that it's to go for it. To go for it, you will really, when you go after your dreams, when everything's in alignment here, you're going to get a lot of reward and recognition. We have angel number 22 here. You could be seeing 22 or 222 a lot. We have 88 here as well. You know, some of you guys are born in 88. I think we have a two as well. Um, but you, you really will get a lot of reward and recognition and respect for when you really step into the role that you, that you're desiring. You have this desire for a reason, and again, Spirit's telling you to go for it. You will get recognized for what you're doing, and I feel like what you're doing is something that is serving others. Mm -hmm. Oh, and Emmy agrees. <laughs> we're serving animals, you know, we're all connected, animals, people, whatever, maybe in the environment. It could be anything. I'm just giving you what I'm seeing right now, you know, general reading. Okay, let's see what this angel number is. 888, karma, balance, finances, that's coming up twice here, success, wealth, cycles, what goes around comes around, a lot of money is coming your way, wow, great good fortune, we have fortune here, wow, that's for sure, 
Fortune refers to more than just monetary and material success. If you don't appreciate the people in your life now, you won't have them tomorrow. This message encourages you to take personal responsibility and use it to realize your greatest potential. Mm -hmm. Yes, you have so much potential. And Spirit's really calling you to step into that and to go after your dreams, to take action on it. And I feel like some of you guys... One reason why you may not have been taking action on your dreams is because you've been worried about finances. You're like, well, if I leave my job or if I leave this person, my finances will be a mess, you know. But Spirit's like saying when you come into alignment, you do what your calling is, you know. Um, you will be recognized for your skills and your efforts. Great good fortunes coming to you. Things will really, yeah, fall into alignment. So I feel like you're being... Asked to like reconsider current relationships in your life, current jobs, current ways of living, and really take a good hard look and be like, am I living how I want to be? Am I am I reaching my goals? What are my goals? And really taking time to take action, you know, to go for them. And there's also that message coming through for group number two. Oh yeah, two two. <laughs> you guys are two as well. Um, is to protect yourself energetically because I feel like you guys are very sensitive to energy. So you look at this light around him too. You know, doing that white light, the orb of light around you, meditation, you can Google it or look on YouTube. Um, look it up on YouTube and find that here. And also, yeah, I think a lot of you need a confirmation that you do have natural healing abilities, that you are very psychic and intuitive, and you have a lot of innate wisdom to share and... Spirit is calling you to really go after that. And whenever you're feeling really um, muddled, unclear thinking, when you're feeling in that days, um, spending time in nature with animals, taking some time to yourself will really be healing for you and help clear your mind and help you get in touch with your intuition so you can make decisions um, and take inspired action based on that and really move forward into this great good fortune that's awaiting you. 888, that's a power number. Mm -hmm. All right. That concludes your reading, group number two, your mystery reading. I hope you received the messages and guidance you needed most at this time. If you did get value from this reading, which I sure hope you did, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like this video, leave a comment, and if you would like to book a private reading with me, my website is kittyrising.com. I'll leave that below as well. I'm truly so grateful you're here, each and every one of you. I love you so, so, so much. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number two. Welcome, group number three, to your mystery reading. We're going to see what is most important for you to hear today. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you to your guides. Thank you to my guides for assisting with the reading today. Thank you, Spirit, for your clear and accurate messages for group number three today. What's going on for group number three? Let's see what we got here. Card number 26, the waters of the planet. Bless the rain, rivers, and oceans. Interesting here. So water represents emotions here. Like we have like all these rainbows. This, we have a dolphin here. These are, are associated with pleasure and joy, happiness, community. I feel like there might be some blessing coming in with... Oh, Emmy. Sorry, you might hear my cat. Um, <laughs> I feel like there's something successful coming into you or like more emotions or more balanced emotions. Um, some of you guys are, are being called to work with water. Um, like bless your water, say affirmations into your water before you drink it. Um, uh, maybe when you're in the shower, you can imagine cleansing, you can bless the water and imagine it cleansing you and getting rid of outside energy and any debris from the day and just blessing you as well. Blessing the waters all around you. It's really powerful. Our bodies are made up of mostly water. Okay. Let me, <laughs> and, um, you know, I feel like you're really connected to water at this time and water energy. So spending time with water and again, blessing your water around you, the, what you drink, that also is just a really good way. Like there's studies that have been shown um, by Dr. Emoto that when you talk to water, it can change its chemical form, its crystallization. 
And when you talk loving things to the water, it becomes a beautiful crystal when frozen. But when you say hateful things, it, it like looks nasty and it doesn't crystallize properly. So everything's connected. Like our words are connected. like, that just shows like how we could be saying negative things to ourselves and that could be affecting our body literally like chemically, not just emotionally. So really being, paying attention to how you talk to yourself and also implementing practices like blessing your water and saying affirmations to your water. Um, and it also doing that work with uh, the shower or baths is really something important here that spirit's drawing to our attention. We'll see how this really relates to the rest of your reading. Uh, oh, she's crying. I just had to take a look at my cat to make sure she's playing with a toy. So I think she's letting me know she caught it. She caught her prey. Um, well, let's keep going. Sorry about that if that was distracting. Wow, look at all that water in this card too. Leah, stand your ground. She's covered in water here. Stand your ground. See how that relates. But that water is really the emphasis of this card right now. I'm not too familiar with this, um, Leah. So this is from the Goddess Guardians and um, what is it? The Goddess Gods and Guardians deck. So this might be someone you can work with. Yamaya is another um, water goddess you can think you can work with if that's really calling to you. If not, don't worry. Well, we have card number seven, the Monarch Victorious. Ooh, chariot energy here. Also, that's related to Cancer, which is a water sign. Let's get these out. New moon in Sagittarius. Focus on the positive. That goes back to what we we're talking about, like really speaking positively to yourself. Thinking positive thoughts, speaking positively, because you know that yeah, Dr. Ramona's book might be something, or work at least, might be something you really want to work into look into also if you're not familiar with that, just if you need some evidence and like you can even see photographs and stuff of the studies, um, how powerful your words really are. Spirit's calling you really to focus on the positive and to stand your ground. Don't give up on your dreams. Think positively about them. If there's any like hiccup on the road, maybe there's something you've been working on. Things have gotten a little tough. Stand your ground. Keep going. Focus on the positive. Think about how far you've come and you will be victorious here. You will. Things are going to really work out for you. And Spirit seems to just be giving you some tools today on how to work on that and like push you to that next level here. We have another seven. Pau de Arco. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Metamorphosis. Yeah. The number seven is really um, relevant here for you guys. Let's put a little um, crystal on her breasts here. Just in case. Um, beautiful card. So we have the moon and we have... Pluto on there. Like we have some uh, menstruation going on as well. Oh, and look, there's like this person on the ground. You are shedding a part of you. Um, you know what I feel like you're letting go of is maybe some a side of you that may be focused on the negative or something you're just really letting ready to let go of. The water is a very cleansing energy as well. Menstruation is very cleansing. We're letting go of things. We have metamorphosis here. Even if you don't menstruate, this still is a message for you. You're you're really shedding something. You're letting go. You're cleansing. Or you're being called to do that. And a lot of this could be the negative thinking. But it could be other things going on in your life. Take it how it resonates. But that will really help you move on to this victory. Now let's get all the cards. I will piece this all together for you. Gong, an exciting event. Ooh. Problems to be resolved. Yeah, I feel like this is a reading kind of spirit giving you guidance on how to resolve anything that's been a problem. Beware of self delusion. Self delusion. We are in a dragon year. Some of you guys might be a dragon as well. I'm an earth dragon personally. 
Beware of self-delusion. I think that might be your negative thoughts and maybe things that you're being called to shed. You are on the road to success. Yeah, okay, you clearly are. We have victorious and you are on the road to success. Yes, you really are. Spirit's just giving you tips on how to get there quicker. And then we have man. Dealings are relationship with a man. Okay, some of you guys could identify as masculine or be dealing with a masculine right now. This could also be really stepping into your masculine energy and balancing that. Um, balancing your feminine and your masculine. Maybe some of you guys have been really in your feminine, which is great. You know, that watery energy, the ideas, the flow, the creativity, the intuition. But you may be called to bring in some action now, to take some steps to balance your feminine and masculine a little bit so you can move forward here. That could definitely be a message for some of you. Not the right time. Okay, you know what I'm getting from this card is that could be something a lot of you say often. You might be like, now's not the time. I don't have the time. Like, I'll do that later. Like, so it's like, you know, live your life now. Do what you want to do now. Wear those pretty clothes now. <laughs> Use the nice silverware now. Do the good things now. Focus on the positive now. Live in the present moment. I feel like working with water can really be grounding for a lot of you. Also, like, taking that present moment to, like, bless your water, bless your food, just really get into your body. Um, I feel like you're really being called to be more present and yeah, not, not the right time. Like you're thinking about the past or the future. It's time to be in the, in the present and really focusing on gratitude and what's going on while well around you right now could really help you be in the present. So you guys really might benefit. I, well, I think you, you definitely will benefit from the book, the gain and the gap or is it the, the gap and the gain. I can never remember. I think it's the gap and the gain. Um, it's a wonderful book, and I think this will really be something for group number three, especially. I'm listening to it on Audible right now. I'm almost done. My mom recommended it to me. She said she's even going to re-listen to it, and I already feel that way. I already can tell it's life-changing for me, but it's really about measuring backwards. Like A lot of times, we measure ourselves against an ideal. We're like, we should be there. We should have this by now. You know, the, Coming back to this time thing, when you're not living in the present, you're in the gap. So think about how far you've come and be grateful for that. Focus on the positive. You've already had so many victories. And when you already appreciate that and see how far you've come and not measure yourself against other people, not measure yourself against an ideal, you're going to get to even more victories sooner. Metamorphosis. There's going to be a lot of positive changes here for you. I really recommend um, listening or reading that if you can. Or even just like Googling it and maybe you can get some more information. We have the moon in reverse. Let me take a sip of water here. We're talking about all this, or it's actually tea, but. It's interesting. We, so I'm, we have the ovaries here, the menstruation and the moon. Some of you guys may really um, benefit by um, working with the moon cycle, whether or not you menstruate, but it definitely if you do, um, you can like really balance your like how you work and your efficacy and stuff by maybe you know like working with the moon cycle. Um, Jill's Garen just posted a video today about that. You can look at her YouTube channel. I feel like that's the second time I've referenced her. Maybe even in group three. <laughs> we have the Four of Wands in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's definitely an emotional component to this reading with the moon in reverse here. You know, the moon represents our emotions. And then the Ace of Cups in reverse. I feel like yeah, maybe there has been some negative emotions going on. Spirit's confirming what we were saying before. And you're being called to, to implement practices so you can be more in the present, so you can focus on the positive, so you can focus on gratitude. That is how you will move forward here. So maybe a lot of people are thinking about, like, been focusing on how they, you haven't had the successes you want. You don't have the money you want. You don't have the relationships you want. And you're focusing on what you don't have, what you don't want. And that's just keeping you in this lower state. That's keeping you in the gap. And by really 
focusing on gratitude and blessing and positivity and really seeing how far you've come giving yourself credit, you know, and realizing that you are on upward, you are always winning, you're always moving forward, you are on the road to success. And when you recognize this, and you start to live in the game, you're going to just keep having more wins, every day is going to be a win, you're going to be victorious here. You are. So yeah, there's definitely a lot of messages about that. And also, you know, those practices to really clean yourself energetically and, um, so yeah, again, just sorry to be repetitive, but just to make sure it's clear, like doing cleansing rituals, like in the shower or the bath, um, you can do it in other ways as well, but water seems really important here. And practicing gratitude, practicing gratitude every day and looking at your wins every day. What went well today? And what do I plan to go well tomorrow? You know, really journaling that stuff. You'll learn about that in the Gap in the Gain book. And... Yeah, I feel like that this, these it might seem like small practices, but these are going to help resolve your problems and really change your life and bring more, more balance, more victory, more of what you want into your your reality. Message of concern. Yeah, I feel like there's again spirits like there's all this emphasis on like something bad that happened or your concerns or worrying everything will fall apart. Or worry that people won't accept your changes you're making. Like just instead of focusing on the concerns and on the negative, it's like really focusing on um, what is going right. And again, how you can how you can move forward. Uh, it just there. I, the main message really seems to be focusing on the positive and, and balancing your emotions that way, and pr implementing these practices here. And instead of focusing so much on what you don't want, like maybe even positive scripting, like talking about what you do want, running things down. Also, yeah, documenting your wins for the day. It'll really help you realize how far you're going, how far you've come, and how life isn't as bad as we might sometimes make it seem when one thing goes wrong. And we'll be more easily able to overcome any problems that arise in the future. So hopefully that's all making sense. And then our final card, 6666, great blessings. Yes, nurture yourself, your needs, desires, and boundaries. Let go of things that are weighing you down. Make space for something meaningful and expand your spirit to all areas of your life. That big love, opportunity, or job needs to squeeze in somewhere. Self-love, boundaries, needs good vibes, wisdom, understanding, letting go. Yeah, with that cleansing energy, letting go of stagnant energy, letting go of things that no longer serve you, letting go of limiting beliefs, and nurturing yourself, what you want. I love this. Taking time for yourself every day, you know, and stand your ground. This is definitely a setting boundaries card. So you guys need that to set boundaries, focus on the positive, take time for yourself every day. That could be a boundary. Like I need some time to take that bath, to do the journaling, to read, whatever it is you need. It's okay to set that boundary and take that time for yourself. Because I feel like you haven't been putting the time into yourself or into your nourishment lately. And this will really help. All right, group number three. Hopefully that all <laughs> made sense. I feel like a lot came through for you, a lot of different guidances and messages. So I hope... Um, what did come through today was exactly what you needed to hear at this time. If you did get value from this reading, which I'm, I really sure hope you did, <laughs> please subscribe if you haven't already, like this video, leave a comment, and if you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so on my website, kittyrising.com. I'll leave that below if you want to check it out. Thank you so much for being here. I'm truly so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you so, so, so much, <laughs> and I will see you in the next one. Bye, group number three.